And now, the general weather around Alaska. First up, satellite imagery showing a fairly decent low pressure area tracking northward across the Alaska Peninsula overnight and only early this morning, pulling up now and swinging kind of northwest there, just west of Nunavak Island. And that brought uh, gusts to 83 miles an hour at Cold Bay overnight and early this morning. Accutan farther to the west had a peak wind gust of 68 miles per hour. And winds gusting anywhere from 40 to 60 miles an hour along the uh, southwest coast here with blizzard conditions into uh, Nunavak Island, Tuksuk Bay area, and uh, lighter amounts of snow to the east, rain over Bristol Bay, rain on up in toward Platinum there in Cuscombe Bay, and uh, clouds and snow starting to push into south central Alaska here with this uh, mediocre frontal boundary pushing in there, and then clear and cold, or variably cloudy and cold here all the way up to the Arctic coast. And for the southeast coast, not a bad day, kind of a break there in between this mass of clouds here over western Canada and then the uh, head of this front coming in. And <clears throat> rolling that through again, you can see the general direction here is toward the southeast coast. And we'll see tonight some precipitation will make its way onto the north coast late tonight and toward tomorrow morning, actually by about 3 a.m. or so, dry to the south there and uh, periods of rain for the North Gulf Coast and uh, snow, South Central Alaska moving in, and it should change to rain for Comer that's carrying snow this afternoon. Rain down to Kodiak Island will continue as that uh, low center developing along the front here pulls right over the island, moves up toward the Barrens there. Snow and blowing snow continues here, northern Yukon Delta and uh, on up in toward uh, Norton Sound there with lighter amounts and less wind as you move inland there. Dry to the north, light snow for the Arctic coast. And this low here pulling again northward just west of Nunavak Island. So really not moving much, beginning to slow down here between St. Matthew Island and Nunavak Island when it gets to that position. Another low still back out here to the west, keeps it windy with rain and snow showers and partly gale force winds for the western Aleutians breezy and showery for the remainder of the Aleutian chain. And for tomorrow, this uh, low here tracks up in toward Prince William Sound, give or take there. But anyway, periods of snow, light snow for South Central Alaska, mixed precipitation changing to rain down toward uh, Southern Cook Inlet and on up along the North Gulf Coast. Periods of rain for the Southeast Coast with highs in the 40s and gusty Southeast winds. This uh, trough here brings some light snow possibly into the Koyukuk Valley westward, in toward uh, Kotzebue, Seward Peninsula, snow and blowing snow tomorrow, down into St. Lawrence Island, south to north flow here, uh, drier conditions, or uh, warmer conditions, and a little drier with the uh, front kind of shearing off here and developing into this trough here with the main front already off to the east. But another surge of moisture will continue to rotate around this system. So look for mixed precipitation and bands coming into the southwest coast there. Periods of rain for Bristol Bay. Periods of rain for the southern Bering Sea. Eastern Aleutians, especially back out here toward Adak and Atko with another trough. And then for the day Tuesday, this low stays put here just north of St. Matthew Island, slowly weakening. Persistent south to north flow here should pull enough warm air northward to mix, get at least mixed precipitation into the Seward Peninsula. But it'll stay snow, whatever is left over moisture wise up there along the southern slopes of the Brooks Range, out into the Chukchi Sea, on down into St. Lawrence Island. And rain and rain showers for the Alaska Peninsula as another trough uh, gets caught up in that flow and begins to push into that area. Areas of uh, Light snow for portions of western Susitna Valley down in toward Cook Inlet to the Alaska Range. And mixed precipitation for the North Gulf Coast. Rain for the Southeast Coast with that trough uh, swinging into that area after the initial front dissipates. Out here to the west, another system bringing gusty winds and rain into the central Aleutians. And we'll see that low actually moves up into the position of this low on Wednesday right in this position here as that other one swings down to the south there. So if that develops a front that moves on to the southwest coast, so look for uh, gusty southeast winds ahead of this system. Not all that strong with rain and snow across the Yukon-Cusquam Delta, rain for the Bristol Bay area, 
rain pushing back into Kodiak Island and pretty uh, wet and windy conditions out here for the Bering Sea on down into the Aleutians. Central Eastern Interior dry, a little breezy out here to the west, but just uh, cloudy all the way out toward Kotzebue. Best chance of clearing here will be from the Tanana Valley northward there to the eastern Arctic coast. Still a chance of some moisture here for the North Gulf Coast, but that's going to be on the very light side. Another system here pushing gusty winds and rain in toward the southern southeast coast. And for the uh, lows tonight, we're from uh, 10 to 25 below here up over the northern interior. Otherwise, uh, still below zero here in the Tanana Valley. Milder night tonight for southern Alaska. Teens in the Susitna Valley, 20s and lower 30s for the Kenai Peninsula area. And in the 30s for the southeast coast, mid-30s Kodiak Island, bound 20 for St. Lawrence Island, near freezing for the Perbloffs. Highs for tomorrow, below zero, Yukon Flats and the North Slope, definitely there, but above zero here in the central interior, up to uh, 15 to 20 there for the Tana Valley around Fairbanks over till, toward Delta Junction, and uh, 20s for the Susitna Valley and 30s here for South Central Alaska, ranging from say 30 in Anchorage and Palmer up to 40 down toward Homer, and about the same for Kodiak Island, lower 40s in the Alaska Peninsula, near 40 out over the Bering Sea in the Aleutians, and 40s for the southeast coast. Lows, uh, 30s and to near 40 for the Panhandle on Tuesday morning. Otherwise, 5 to 10 below there for Arctic Valley, Ar Arctic Village, down to Fort Yukon with uh, temperatures anywhere from 0 to 10 in the northern interior. Below zero again for the north slope in the Arctic coast. Much milder here, mid-20s for the uh, Yukon Delta and upper 20s, lower 30s down toward Bristol Bay, mid-30s Kodiak Island. And then the highs in the 30s here for the Kenai Peninsula, 30s above freezing. And in the 20s for the Susitna Valley, teens for the Tanana Valley, single numbers for the Arctic Coast and North Slope, 40s for the Southeast Coast.